So we're going to make a start in a cross-legged position. So if you want to find your block or your pillow and just prop yourself up, you can, but just do whatever feels right for you today. So if you feel like you're slumping into the lower back, maybe you're a little more tired. So it's just finding that length. And then just closing the eyes. Soften your gaze if you prefer. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through the nose. Just notice how that breath felt. Maybe it felt quite constricted. Maybe it felt rushed. Just notice. I'm taking a few more deep breaths here, just in and out of the nostrils. Maybe visualizing the belly rising and falling. Is that something you like to do? And taking your next breath out, just really release the right ear to the right side, feeling the stretch through the left, like the chin slightly here, so you feel a deeper stretch through the neck. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release the chin into the chest, feel the stretch through the back of the neck. Letting your left ear find your left shoulder, feel the stretch now through the right side. Take a deep breath in. And as you take your long breath out, just slowly release the chin back down. Just notice if there's anything pulling or any tightness. Releasing the chin into the chest, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, releasing the head back on top of the spine. Just blink the eyes open. And then inhale, lift both arms up. Grabbing hold of your right wrist with your left hand, inhale over to your left side, feeling the stretch through your right side body. It's hard to mirror through a screen. <laughs> take another deep breath. And then exhale, maybe gazing at your right tricep. Slowly coming all the way back up. But now just take your right arm across the chest. You can turn the position of your left elbow so it faces down and just draw the right fingers over to the left side. Feel the stretch through your right shoulder blade. Take another deep breath. Exhale. Inhale all the way back up. Lovely guys, change the cross of the hands, right hand grabbing your left wrist. Inhale the left fingers to the right side. Draw both shoulders away from the ears, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, slowly release yourself back to center and let your left arm come in front of the body. So you can change the elbow position here, so you're softening the right shoulder. And drawing the left fingertips across the body, feel the reach of that left hand towards the right side. Take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, reach both arms back up to the sky. Release your wrists, inhale both fingers. Exhale, release them behind the back into lace. So just turn a few. See if you can get your wrists together now. Take a deep breath in. And open the chest, you just feel the shoulders squeezing together, deep breath. If you want to go a little deeper, sending the knuckles to the mat behind you. It's still very early into the practice, but do what suits you, deep breath. And then exhale, releasing the hands, releasing your shoulders, take a few rolls. And then slowly just removing yourself from your block. Bring both knees up towards the sky and walk the feet out in front. Just bottom shuffle halfway to you, uh, halfway onto your mat. And then let the spine just find 
the ground. So you may want your block to the top of the headband. You may not. Do what feels good for you. If you have a bobble, just removing it out of the way. Just starting to squeeze the right knee in and then lengthen the left leg. Take a moment to feel the right knee squeeze into the chest and the left leg lengthening away. Deep breath here. And then as you exhale, just see if you can soften the shoulders, soften the chin, soften all the back muscles. And just start to rock your right knee from right to left. Feel the movement in your right hip. Take another deep breath. And as you exhale, slowly send your right foot towards the sky. You can have a few wiggles with the ankle here. Notice how it feels today. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee if you need to. Start to lift the chest up the mat, reaching past the foot. Feel the abdominals engage. Deep breath. As you exhale, slowly release yourself all the way back. Squeeze the right knee in once more. And then let's take a twist, sending your right arm out to the right side, right knee over to the left side of the body. Another deep breath, and again, try and find length through the torso. Try not to bunch up here. Use your exhale to slowly guide yourself back to center. And then just sending that right knee wide, opening the right knee. Again, just notice what you feel in this hip crease. Find another breath. On your exhale, draw it back to center. Awesome, go send the right foot all the way to the top of your mat and then squeeze your left knee in. Deep breath in. When you're ready, you can take a few more squeezes here. And start to soften all the muscles in the upper back. Notice if you're holding tension, unnecessary tension, maybe a few ankle um, rotations here. As you exhale, just send the left leg to the sky, flex the left toes, notice how it feels. Take a breath in, breathe into your left hamstring, flex the toes closer to the face. As you take your next breath in, lift both arms towards the foot. You can bend the knee. Try and reach past your foot now. Feel the abdominals engage. Deep breath. Exhale slowly and release yourself all the way back down. Squeeze that left knee in. Give it a hug. Deep breath. And let's take our twist. Left knee over to the right side. Left arm is long. And again, you're not bunching into the torso here. You're trying to still find length through the spine through the crown of your head. And then exhale, coming back to center. Let's just open that left knee wide. Notice what you feel in the left hip. Through that hip crease, take a deep breath. And then exhale, slowly releasing both knees to the chest. Now just take a moment to rock the sacrum into the nut. Feel that little massage to your lower back. Take a deep breath, and then send both knee, uh, rather feet to the sky, knees towards the armpit. So coming into a half happy baby, draw the hands to hold the back of the thighs. If the feet are available for you today, then grab them. If they're not, don't worry about it. Stay where you are. One more deep breath. And then exhale, let's draw the knees together. Squeeze the knees in. Send your feet up ahead, and if it's comfortable, take a rock and a roll. Take two or three rocks here to keep rounding through the spine. If it's too much, just take one, or find your way to seat it. And then once you get there, just hovering the toes up. So the toes can be into the mat if you like, and you can hold the back of the knees, or you can lift the arms straight. So any variation that suits you. If you want to take it further, maybe you're more advanced, lift the feet a little higher, maybe parallel to the mat. Take a deep breath. If you're trying to squeeze the belly towards the knees and the knees towards one another. 
As you exhale, let's slowly release the feet to cross over. Well done, guys. And then just walk the hands out in front. So maybe you're here. Maybe you're a little deeper. Just go to where suits. You can let the head hang towards the mat. And just feel gravity taking the weight of you now. Maybe noticing how it feels in your right hip or your left, depending on which leg is in front. And then exhale, slowly walk yourself back in. And that reminds me, just uncross the legs to the other side. And inhale to lift your chest. And let's just take it on the other hip. Exhale, pause as much as you can. So again, maybe you're higher than I am today. Maybe you're lower. Just notice how it feels in the opposite hip as well as how it feels to cross the legs in uh, the unnatural way for you. Take one more deep breath. And as you exhale, let's walk ourselves all the way back in. So just taking your feet out to the side, coming up onto your knees, coming into your tabletop position, so wherever that is for you. If you want to rock over those knees, you could. Make sure those feet are pressing into the mat, the hands, you're pressing away, drawing yourself away here. Find this rounding through the shoulders so you're finding a little bit more extension through the arms. If you don't know what I mean, don't worry about it today. As you inhale, drop your belly here, lifting your gaze, sending the heart forward. Exhale, round it through, chin into the chest, belly into the spine. Let's just take one more. Inhale, drop the belly, lifting the gaze, sending the heart forward. Exhale to round it through. Chin into the chest, belly into the spine, spread through those shoulders. Come into your neutral position. Just start to rock from side to side. You could turn the position of the hands if you like. Just really start to get into the wrists. Just notice how it feels. And then maybe if you want, turning the palms back to um, your center, you could start to take circles with the belly letting the sit bones, or rather the tailbone, go in the opposite way. Maybe move your head if it's comfortable. I don't really worry about how you look. You're not being recorded like me. <laughs> and then find your neutral. So do what feels right now. Just press away from the mat. Find the belly into the spine. And then send your right foot away. Maybe you want to rock back and forth here, just feeling that nice little stretch through the right leg, through the right Achilles, the toes, just all through that right side. If it's too much, just find stillness. Awesome, guys. Keep pressing your toes into the mat, send your heel away. Feel the activation up your right leg. Deep breath. Exhale, hover the foot up. Inhale, release the foot down. Exhale, hover the foot up. Last one, inhale, release the foot down. Send your heel away, and then exhale, hover the foot up. Notice how active you feel in that right leg. Drawing your right toes behind your left foot. Left foot goes out to the left side. Inhale, the right arm high to the sky into your side body strength. Keep pressing away from the left arm, the left shoulder. Option here to go deeper. This is a variation. You don't have to take it. Uh, right toes can point towards the sky. Deep breath in. Exhale, hover your right foot up. See if you can lift it a little more. If it's up. Maybe you're feeling your left leg activate. And exhale, release the hand, uh, the foot rather down. Reach your right arm all the way to the top of your mat. Maybe you're finding it difficult to straighten the arm. If so, bend the elbow. Keep sending your left shoulder away from your ear. Deep breath. Exhale to release the right arm down. Release your right knee down. Awesome, guys. Let's just take a cat cow between. Inhale, drop the belly, lift your gaze. And then exhale, round it through, chin into the chest, belly to the spine. Come into your neutral position. Make sure you're tucking the tailbone under, holding the belly in, pressing away from the mat. Inhale, send your left foot back. So really start to rock back and forth here. If it's uncomfortable, just find that stillness. Keep pressing the heel away. 
But if you feel good, let's just take a rock. Feel the half stretch in the Achilles, the toes, maybe the activation of the thigh. Just notice. And then find that stillness and really press the toes down, send your heel away, activating the back of the left leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, hover the foot up. Inhale, release. Exhale to hover. Inhale, release. Exhale, hover. Send the heel away. Really feel the activation of your left leg. And inhale, release. Awesome, guys. Place that left foot behind your right toes. Right foot out to the right side. Inhale, your left arm high to the step. Take a deep breath here. So maybe this is a lot for you now, feeling it through the left side. And if you are, stay where you are. Variation to go further. Flexing your left toes. Deep breath in towards the sky. Exhale, half of the foot up. Keep reaching. Start to feel that left leg activate. Maybe your right. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, release the left leg down. Awesome, guys. Reach the left arm forward if it feels okay. Draw that left shoulder down the back. So don't draw it towards the ear. Find that retraction. Again, bend the elbow if you need to. Take a deep breath. Exhale and slowly release your left arm all the way down. The left knee all the way down. Take a deep breath in and drop your belly. Lift your gaze. Exhale, round it through, chin into the chest. Bring your toes to touch, walk your hands all the way back, sit into your child's pose, forehead to the mat. Arms can rest out in front or maybe behind you. Just take a moment to feel the breath. If it feels at all constricted here, just go to where it's comfortable. Maybe you're lifting the sit bones further away from the heels coming through the forwards. Maybe you're finding a block to go underneath the forehead. And turning to the screen just so you can hear me. <laughs> just do what suits you. Take another deep breath. And your next breath out. If you're ready to move, walk the arms forwards. Remove the block if you have one. And then slowly coming into your tabletop position, tuck the toes under, send the sit bones back, and just lift the tailbone towards the sky here. Bend the knees, walk your hips from side to side, maybe lengthen the hamstrings, the legs, if you feel you need to. Try not to think about getting the heels to the ground today. Just worry about finding this long spine. And to do this, bend your knees a lot and lift your bum. Relax into the uh, shoulders and the neck. Try not to build tension there. Maybe shake your head one way and then the other. If, again, it's something you feel you need. Let's take a deep breath in. Just start to sway your hips if it feels okay. And then turning both feet now to the left side. So both heels to the left. Bend to both knees. Straighten the legs again. Inhale to center. Going to the right side, exhale, bend the knees. Inhale back up. Just notice how that felt for you on either side. Take a moment in the middle. And then again, Drawing the feet to just hip, down, hip distance. Turn the heels to the left. And exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten. Come back to center. Exhale, the other side. Bend the knees. So this side always feels worse for me. Inhale, straighten. Come back to your center. Have a moment. Shake it out. Well done, guys. Inhale, look forward. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Release your left knee. And then start to heel toe your right foot out to the right side. Let's take a little pose here. So you may need your brick or two here. Just making sure this right foot 
is underneath your right knee. You're not behind it. So help it along if you need to. Start to sink into the left hip if that feels good. If it doesn't, walk your left knee in. Find your block. Just place the block inside of your right foot. Walk your hands onto one block, two if you want. Deep breath in here. Find length through the spine from your tailbone all the way to the front. Try not to hunch up. Find that extension. Deep breath. And as you exhale, the option is there to come down onto the elbows to your breath, or maybe finding more length by using the arms here. Do what feels good for you. Try not to run through the spine today. Try and find length through the spine. Notice what you're feeling through this right hip. Notice what you're feeling through the left. Take one more deep breath. As you exhale, if you're on the elbows, just walk yourself back up. If you're on your hands, just take the block out of the way. Bringing both fingers down, just inside of the foot, you can be on your fingertips. Just start to wiggle into the hips, so straightening that front leg. Maybe moving from side to side as if you were um, <laughs> whisking in a bowl. <laughs> Let's see how it feels. Maybe it doesn't feel good to move here. Maybe it's too much. But just go with your own body, with your own breath. Maybe it's a little movement. Awesome, guys. So when you're ready, just straighten that right leg as much as you can then. Walk your hands in towards you and lift your chest. Deep breath. Exhale, release the hands back down. Bend into your front knee. So both hands down to the ground now. Sink the hips lower if you can. Tuck the back toe. Send your left heel away and just rock back and forth. This may be too much. If it is, release the knee. If you're feeling it's difficult in that left hip, no problem, stay where you are. If you can harbor the leg off, keep squeezing your right knee into your right shoulder. Take one more breath. And then exhale, let's release that right knee down, our uh, left front left knee down. Send your right leg all the way to the back. Why does the body feel that in the hip? Lower the chest all the way down, squeezing the elbows into the side. Rest your forehead to the mat. Take a rock of your head. Take one more deep breath. And then turning. Your right knee out wide, in line with the right hip, release your right foot underneath the right knee. So you have a right angle here. Just start to squeeze the right hip down, take a deep breath. As you exhale, release the right knee back. And then take your right arm wide, left fingertips underneath your left shoulder, taking that shoulder stretch, release the right ear to the mat. Turning the body onto the right side, just letting your left leg rest over to the right side. If this is too much, release the left leg in front or onto the hip. Take one more deep breath. Then exhale, let's come back to center. Take a moment to rock the hips. And then gazing to the left when you're ready. Take your left knee out in line with your left hip. Foot is in line with the left knee, right angle. Squeeze this left hip down as much as you can towards the ground. And just breathe through it.
on your exhale, release the left leg back. Take your gaze to the right, left arm wide. Pressing into the right hand, twisting over to the left side. Place your right foot either to the left side or in front or resting on the left. Wherever you are, breathe into your left shoulder, find your breath. And again, if your breath is constricting, you have gone too far, back out, take the breath. Also guys, exhale, come back to center. Forehead to the left, just take a rock in the hips. And then pressing back to your knees. Tuck the toes under, lift the sit bones high. Again, have a wiggle, maybe a pedal. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale and step your left foot in between the hands. Release your right knee. Just take a moment here and then walk your left fingertips inside of your left foot. You can heel toe it wide. And just sink into the right hip a little more if it feels good. Finding your block. Maybe finding some length here. Just breathe into it. Again, maybe you're finding two blocks. Maybe one. Keep rolling the shoulders back, take another deep breath in. If you wish to, sink down onto the elbows as you exhale. Finding the block, then please do. Try and find that length through the spine, try not to bend, try not to bunch up. Taking one more, more deep breath. Can you squeeze your left knee any closer? And slowly walk your hands back up onto the block. So just finding a rock now from side to side. You can move your blocks out of the way. You can stay on them, whatever feels good. Just coming back and forth, maybe moving the hips. Again, thinking the hips as a whisk and you're trying to with something in a bowl. <laughs> My very little imagination. <laughs> Start to notice how that feels. And again, maybe this movement doesn't look as mine. Maybe it's more fluid, maybe it's not, don't worry. And then start to, if you're on your blocks, just walk them to the end of your mat. And just walk your hands back as you straighten your left leg. Again, find length in your crown, be as long as you can through the spine, deep breath. As you exhale, walk back into the front knee, bend it here, hands plant down. Left leg goes all the way out wide to the back of the mat. Slowly sit your sit bones back into the heels, take the rest in your child's pose and just notice how each hip feels compared to the other. Slowly walk your hands back out in front. Tuck the toes back and lift the sit bones back. Shake it out if you need to have some wiggle, some movement. Do what feels right for you. And when you're ready, let's inhale. Step the right foot to the top of the mat. Release the left knee down now. And when you're ready, inhale, both arms high to the sky. Tap the tailbone and then reach the arms high. Let's take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, twisting now to the right side, left arm forward, right arm back. So you're keeping the tailbone tucked, feeling the right heel pressing into the mat. You want a little more left arm coming inside of 
or rather outside of the right knee. Take another deep breath. So you're hooking the, just the wrist or the forearm of them. Take another deep breath. Keep reaching the right fingertips back. Awesome, guys. Exhale. Draw this right arm all the way forwards. Keep this left arm here. And then release both hands down. Tuck the back toe now. Awesome, guys. When you're ready, keep pressing your left heel away. Keep resting your belly onto your right thigh. Draw both hands to the heart center. If this is too much, release the hands down. Do you feel okay? Stay here. As you exhale, just hook your left elbow over your right knee. And then take your gaze maybe to the right shoulder. If this is too much, release that left knee down. And breathe here. If you can, keep sending your left heel away. Take one more deep breath. A variation if you want it. You do not have to go further. You could open both arms. Well done, guys. Take one more breath. And use your exhale to release the right arm. And now the left arm all the way down. Send your right foot all the way to the back. Give the right leg a shake. And then release both knees down and tuck the toes. Lowering the chin and the chest, elbows brush. Inhale, lifting your chest, lifting your gaze, shoulder, head, swing back. Exhale to soften back down. And remember, you don't always have to go into your full up throw. Eyes back to your child's pose. Exhale. Inhale back into your down dog. Have a little kid. Gazing forwards, inhale. Stepping your left leg to the top of the mat. Releasing the right knee down. Inhale. Up into your low present lunge. Tucking the tailbone under, feel the stretch through the right quad. Deep breath in here. The more you tuck, the more you'll feel it. As you exhale, left arm to the back, right arm forward, twisting to your left side. Deep breath in. As you exhale, you could place this right arm to hook over the left knee just for a little bit of a lever. Or rather, for some leverage. Take one more deep breath. Exhale the left arm all the way forwards. Keep the right arm up. And release everything down. Tuck the back toe and keep the left uh, quad connected to the belly. If you're feeling okay here, keep the knee off. Otherwise, release it back down. Take a deep breath and draw both fingertips, both hands to the heart center. Deep breath. As you exhale, let's hook the right elbow over the left knee, keeping the belly connected for a moment. Keep sending the right heel away, deep breath. Maybe gaze to the left shoulder if it's available, if it's there today. Release the knee if you need to. And using your exhale to slowly release both hands, framing the foot. Step the left foot all the way to the back, high plank. Shake up the leg. And releasing the knees down. Releasing the chin and the chest, elbows brush. Inhale, roll the shoulder heads back, lift your gaze, lift your chest. If you're finding you're pinching in the lower back, just soften the elbows here, do a couple of times. Slowly exhale to release. And press back into your child's pose. And let's just take a rest here, reconnecting to the breath if you've lost it. Feeling the connection to the belly, to the back. Just notice if the heart rate has lifted slightly. And if it has, enjoy this. Enjoy. All those vibrations running through the body. And then when you feel good, let's just take one last down dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the sit bones high. Shake that down everything. Let's 
head slowly walk your feet to your hands and your hands to your feet so wherever you land on your mat wherever feels good fold over the thighs ragdoll here fold onto opposite elbows take a rock it out if you like or find stillness let the head be heavy brown is heading towards the ground slowly releasing the hands rolling up through the spine shoulders neck and head comes last time keep that long spine and if you have any head rush or anything like that just take your moment take what you need find a walk whatever feels good so when you're ready let's draw the heels together toes slightly apart i prefer to have what i call duck feet you may prefer to have parallel feet so you could just give it a go quickly if you wanted how you prefer to be stood if you don't know what i'm on about again don't worry <laughs> Hands to the heart center, thumbs into your toe. Let's just take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Choosing something to gaze upon, something that's not moving. Slowly placing weight into your left leg, draw your right heel off the mat, just bending the right knee. See if you can place the right foot to the calf, the knee, the thigh, maybe. If you're putting your foot onto the knee, can I? Make sure there's no pressure there. If you're anywhere else on the leg, then you can draw the foot in a little more from there. Try to square the hips. And press the thumbs into your chest. I find this really helps for my balance. Keep gazing upon something that's not moving, maybe not the screen. And try to think of yourself as a forest rather than as a strong structure anything that's still if you were a tree you'd be blowing in the wind sorry if i made you for that <laughs> take one more breath and as you exhale lift both arms high to the sky lift your chest lift your gaze soften the shoulders if it suits you start to change your gaze to between the fingertips if it doesn't just gaze to the floor if you find you're losing it to so come back to where you were. Awesome, guys. Exhale, draw both palms back together into high prayer hands to your heart center. Thumbs press in. Take one more breath. Slowly bending your left knee, pick your right knee up into your chest. Awesome, guys. Release your right hand and lift your left arm to the sky. So I'm going to turn it for you. Awesome. Slowly draw your knees to meet and then catch your right foot with your right hand. As you exhale, start to hinge forwards from the hips, reaching your left arm forwards. If you haven't got it, don't worry. Come back in. If you're feeling good and you've got your right toes, press your right foot forward. If you find it hard to catch the foot, grab yourself a strap. Take one more deep breath. Keep trying to square the chest, keep plugging your right shoulder back into its socket, left shoulder back. Slowly with control, lift your left arm all the way back up. Awesome, guys, bring the left arm to the left hip. And slowly release your right leg, just shake it out, shake out the other side. Awesome, let's go on to the other side when you're ready. Hands to the heart center, roll the shoulders back. And again, if you needed a strap for the first time, let's grab it for the second. Just placing it by you. Left heel coming off the mat. Choose that drishti, that gaze point, something to focus on. And then when you're ready, placing the left leg to the calf, the ankle, the mat even. If you're on your knee, there's no pressure. And if you're on your thigh, you can put a little pressure into the thigh to try and square those hips. See if you can bring alignment into this as well. Press the thumbs into your chest and send your elbows wide to your deep breath. As you exhale, if it suits, lift both arms towards the sky. Open them up. Now challenging yourself, maybe you didn't want to give it a go on the first side. 
So maybe on this side you want to give it a try, changing that point of gaze to the sky, to between the hands, or maybe to the floor, wherever suits you. Maybe close the eyes if you really want to challenge yourself. No one sees you fall if you do. <laughs> Slowly with control, draw those hands back into the heart center. Open the eyes if they're closed, thumbs to your heart center. Press it into the chest, elbows are wide. Slowly bending your right knee, pick your left leg up into the chest, flex the left thumb. And then when you're ready, lift your right arm to the sky, left hand to the left hip. Stay with that drishti, that gaze point, and then bring the knees to me. Grab hold of your left foot, and if it's not there today, then just grabbing your strap, doing what you can. Maybe grabbing your leggings. As you exhale, reach this right arm forward to counterbalance you. Flex the left toes into your left hand. Plug your shoulders back in, try and square the chest. Stay with your breath. Stay with your drishti. And as you exhale, slowly reach the right arm up, the left knee down. And release the left leg. Shake it out, guys. Well done. So coming into our Malasana spot, so maybe you want your brick, your block, whatever it may be. And just come halfway onto the mat. You can place the brick behind you. You may not need it. Hands to the heart center, sending the elbows wide. Feet are as wide as your mat now. Toes are out. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, let's slowly hinge from your knees all the way down, hips into the middle. You can find your block and sit on it. It's like really nice. <laughs> really, really, really nice. <laughs> but maybe you want to work a little harder today and engage and lift. Elbows are pressing, right palms are, or rather wrists are sending towards the mat. Find that resistance. Take one more breath, maybe close the eyes. Awesome, guys. Release both hands down. And then just slowly find the bottom to the mat. Bring both legs out in front. Just taking our final posture. Draw your um, left leg in front. Left um, leg is straight in front of you. And then draw your right foot onto the left knee. So we're coming into fire log pose. You've never done this one before. It will feel very strange. <laughs> and don't worry about how high your knees are. Maybe they're really tight. And if they are, your hips which are tight. <laughs> you can grab blocks and maybe place blocks in between. You can place them on different levels. You can also place one underneath the left knee as well if you feel you need it. And just take a moment to sit up tall. You can hold the, the right leg, the top leg, and just breathe. Close the eyes and just start to let that right hip begin to soften. And it may feel like, oh, it's never going to happen, it's screaming. Just trusting in the practice that you will open up, you will be a little bit more flexible in these areas. Taking one more deep breath. And as you exhale, blink the eyes open. And then let's remove the right leg, remove your blocks wherever they may be, or your pillows, whatever you've got. And then placing the right leg onto the bottom. The leg is parallel, so it's in line with your mat. And drawing your left knee to the right foot, left foot, or rather right foot. Oh, sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> Drawing your left foot to your right knee. <laughs> I was looking at my right side. It's very confusing. <laughs> so for me, I'm a little bit tighter on this side. So placing a block under this left knee can be really helpful, as well as my 
frightening as well because that's slightly lifted as well. Hands to the heart center, or just resting beside you. Find length in the spine, just breathe here. I know this one is definitely one that your hips talk to you. <laughs> but I really enjoy that sensation of opening up, feeling the stretch. Maybe you feel like you can remove a block or change the position of a block. Thanks, you guys. And a nice breath out, just blinking the eyes open, removing the blocks from wherever they are for you. And then just sort of moving the feet, <laughs> gives those legs a shape. And then again, finding your halfway point on your mat. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. And if you want to untuck the flesh from underneath you, I, I need muscle. <laughs> then bring your hands to your um, ankles and just use your hands for some lift of the pelvis. If you feel like your pelvis is just Tipping back today, then use your hands to guide that pelvis forwards. You take a deep breath in and lift your chin and your chest. As you exhale, just start to walk the hands forwards, maybe towards the feet. Maybe the elbows can go wide or they can come in. And then just let the chin come towards the chest, forehead, towards the feet, towards the mat. And if you're a little higher than I am today, then just letting your head go, if it's comfortable for the spine, for the neck, then please do. Connecting to your breath here. Maybe even looking at the belly rising and falling. And the next breath out. Slowly with control, just roll out of your spine. Draw the knees together, feet to the ground. Just draw the hands to guide the spine all the way back. Just ending with an envision. This is something you don't have to take. You could come into your Shavasana if you're ready for that. But if you'd like to just get the heart above the head. Just for a few breaths would be nice. So starting with feet up to the sky, option one. Option two, grabbing your block and placing the block underneath the bottom. Uh, and uh, assisted shoulder side. Option three, just coming straight into your plan. Feet behind you, elbows walk in, hands walk up the ribcage. Maybe both feet lift to the sky. Trying to draw the feet above the pelvis. Making sure you're on your shoulders and not your neck. If it's too much, release the knees behind you. Press into the feet if they reach. If they don't, bend your knees and come into what I call yogi cocoon. You can hold the back of the legs if you like. Just do what suits you. And don't forget to smile here. Lift the corners of your mouth. Breathe through it. If the feet are just lifted to the sky, again, maybe working to straighten the legs a little more, maybe grabbing yourself a strap. Taking one more deep breath and lifting the feet back up. When you're ready to come down, place both elbows and palms down into the mat, pressing. Make sure you're exhaling and holding the belly in. Release the feet behind you. Bend your knees and start to let each vertebrae down onto the Keep the shoulders and the neck grounded. 
knees, your core together. Yeah. Just take one windscreen wiper of the legs. And then just finally, a happy baby. Knees into the armpits, feet up to the sky when you're ready. Maybe you're in your full happy baby grabbing the outside edges of the feet. Maybe you want to bring yogi toe lock into it and jali mudra into, um, so your first and second finger onto the big toe, the thumb onto the toenail. That feels good, please do. If that's not an option, maybe grabbing the back of the thighs and bending the knees is really nice. And when you're ready, just releasing both feet down. We've worked a lot into the hips and into the shoulders, so it's up to you how you want to lie. Maybe it's soles of the feet together, knees wide, maybe like a brick underneath, or rather in between the shoulder blades. Just to open the chest a little bit. Maybe you want both. Wherever you are, making sure you're as comfortable as possible. And just letting that breath soften back down. Take away that control. Just let your fingertips face towards the sky and let you feel it. Right, to soften any leftover tension in the face, the upper body, and the lower body. Let go of anything that's not serving you now. Maybe start to walk the legs out of the bottom. Start to wiggle the toes. See if you can cross the big toe. Over the second. Clenching. Squeezing my hands. It's okay for you with the block underneath. Exhale, just slowly rolling off the block to your right side. With control, trying not to land on anything here. And then just hug those knees in, give them a big squeeze. Close the eyes still in the arms. And just take this moment to be thankful for your practice, your time on the mat, taking time out of the day to nurture your mind, your body, and your spirit. With control, slowly rise to a comfortable position. Seeing if you can do nice flows from the hands to the heart center. And find again length to the spine, so it's a tall deep breath. Now 
press your thumbs to your chest. Take a few breaths here. And then just drawing the thumbs to the third eye. We're bowing together and repeating Namaste. Namaste.